Hello, my name is Kay. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you are already a part of my crew, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make these today. So get ready. I'm going to list the ingredients, then we're going to get started. Let's start with the bowl. Next, we're going to add the milk. Now I have some instant vanilla flavored instant pudding mix. Going to add that to the milk. Grab a whisk and whisk it until it is well blended for about one to two minutes. Let's grab a cutting board. I have this pastry dough that is used to make empanadas. We're going to use this today. So I'm going to take one of these out. Make sure you preheat the oven. As you can see, the pudding is nice and thick the way it should be. Now we're going to put about one to two tablespoons of the pudding on one side. All right, now we are going to flip that over. Now you can close this up two different ways. You can curl the ends just like when you do regular empanadas, you curl the edge and press. Curl and press, or the other way, grab a fork and just press press it close. And there you have it. I have a pan here. Just gonna use some cooking spray and spray the pan. Pick it up, place it on your baking sheet. Now it is time to make the green icing. So let's start with grab a bowl, put some powdered sugar into the bowl. Grab something to mix with and some water. Stir it around. Make sure the consistency is about like um, a nice icing. If you add too much water, that's okay. Powdered sugar is very forgiving. Just add more powdered sugar to the mix. Ah, perfect. Yes, that consistency. Now we are ready for the coloring. Okay, so I have Wilton's icing colors here. This pack has uh, 12 different colors. As you can see, we are going to use Kelly Green and Lemon Yellow. First, we are going to put some of the green coloring in there. Oh, look at that pretty green color. These food coloring they are washable, so if you do get them on your hands, you can just wash your hands with soap and water. Okay, let's stir it around. So we're going to add just a little bit of yellow to get that bright neon color. Stir it around. Oh, yes! Look at that! It get, it did get a little brighter. Oh my gosh! I love this. 
Okay, I think this is the color for me. Look at that cool green color. Like, how cool is that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just excited. <laughs> the turtle pies are all done, as you can see. With your fork, just punch your holes. Just one, once. On the top of each pie, it'll keep the filling from coming out. Silly me, I forgot to do that this time. <laughs> Here's one pie before we put the green icing on top. I'm going to place them on the plate and let them cool down before we add the icing. Okay, I have some wax paper here. Grab one of the pastries, turtle pies. We have the green icing here. You can either pour the green icing on top. I'm going to brush it on. You just brush it all over. Cover up that pie. Make it mean and green. To add a little razzle dazzle, you just have a little bit of sugar, just regular granulated sugar. I'm just going to sprinkle. Give it a little shimmer on top. Just okay. So this is the finished product. I'm going to let them sit, get the icing to harden, and uh, then you're done. Okay. Now let's try one. Yum, yum, yum. Let's try it. Mmm. Oh. oh, that's so good. We did it, guys. We brought it back to life. Well, that's my time for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like to see more of me, and you haven't done it already, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I drop a new video. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, leave them down below. And I'll see you next time. Cooking and kisses.